Hey, it's Uncle Thomas on the internet here and welcome to yet another update video. Well, okay, that's a lie. This is, this is an update video. I, I did not spend like an entire day editing that, which, okay, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look too good, but this is my first time editing, okay? Okay, my first time taking... Yes, yeah, screw it. Let's just get to the video. Now that I have uh, two years under experience on my main account, I'm basically missing a few operators. Most of them are six stars, but yes, there are a few operators I'm missing. Most of them being Sir Shining, Nectis, Helicar, Flintel, W Union, Dust, Golden Girls, Shobi, Mostima, Normandy Denied, Passenger, Mangan, Palace, Acheto, Suzran, Perkis, Aurora, Ashlock, Beeswag, Carrara, Toddy Fonts, and Max thought just night because I'm too lazy to put support and range together. But yeah, basically I've been missing those operators, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Operators I really like Angelina, uh, Posionka, or however you pronounce it, May, Backpipe, Matra, Rosa, and then Torrance because uh, he's cool. However, those are just design wise. Mechanically, I really like Torrance. Basically, he's an IS2 speedrun carry. May, funny, uh, funny stun moments. Uh, hard to the infinite range is uh, very fun, even though I never use skill 2. Uh, I don't really like Alice at first, but uh, the fact that her skill tree makes her essentially a AoE guard, and also she's pretty fun to use, even though I only use her on Annihilation 2 for boss. But yeah, she's cool, I guess. Uh, Firewatch, she's my only uh, first frame killer that isn't Ash or Blaze that isn't on my main account, but yeah, she's good. Also, I really hate Ash. Alright, enemies. Uh, design wise, I really like Emperor's Blade, Blood Diamond, Viviana, Blast Kashik, and Blood Knight, Patriot, Frost Nova, that guy from IS1 I forgot the name of. Finally, of course, uh, first to Morb. Y you get the joke. Now, mechanic wise, starting with obvious, uh, the Blood Knight. He's really annoying to deal with, especially with Blood Base, but you know, he's a, a fun boss to deal with. Immediate after that is Emperor's Blade specifically Pursuer because uh, Emperor's Blade uh, regular form is just I appear, debuff, and then go away. Very uh, enticing mechanics if I do say so myself. Pursuer's whole mechanic is basically I will undeploy your immortal operators, basically your Surge Spectres. So if you try to survive that hit, it's not gonna happen because it's essentially a forced remove. Not actually that hard to deal with, but it's sort of annoying when you're doing a trust farm and suddenly something fails and you have to redo the entire trust farm and waste a single sanity. But yeah, overall, it's a fun boss to deal with. Kashik is basically one of the most forgettable bosses, but I find his mechanics interesting. And since we're going to get him on CC8 soon enough, well, uh, let's just say, uh, make sure to look at your back. Alright, so Shang, he's one of the more complicated bosses, mostly because of his attack priorities, but he's uh, pretty easy to deal with unless you're on challenge mode or EX stages, in which case most of your enemies aren't actually the boss itself, it's more of its red twist. I do really enjoy their mechanics mostly because they actually flip their heads on how the deployment position works. Overall, he's very fun to deal with. Although CC7's permanent map is currently the easiest contingency contract so far, I do believe that uh, CC6 uh, permanent map is actually much more uh, easier compared to CC7's. This is mostly due to the fact that less of the operators are. This is mostly my opinion due to its more flexible nature. Sure, you will have the sandstorm from there, 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 and possibly here. So the threats you can do within risk 18 at least can be much more flexible. You'll have options on top here, over there, you'll have thorns go up and mountain there, or other little combinations I might not have forgotten. But yeah, CC7 is much more uh, easier by technicality, yes, but uh, in my opinion, CC6 has a much more simpler map, which is why it's my favorite now. And then there's also Annihilation.
out for future events. Uh, there is Tia Meta who is coming after CC8 and her events which is uh, guiding ahead is uh, looks to be interesting but I'm not exactly sure how some of the mechanics work but we'll have to wait and see. Next is chapter 10 featuring Korn who don't really have much of an opinion on her. She looks okay and her damage is decent but uh, her design is a bit too bland for me. But her E2 art is nice though. Next event will be Software Novice which has Lumen, our very first uh, 6 star male medic and featuring a few operators being Irene and Spectre the Unchained. I do not have much of an opinion on Irene except for her E2 is nice. Spectre the Unchained, uh, she looks incredibly broken with her module and her E2 art is nice. On the other hand, OST on this event is really good so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Immediately after that is CC9 which is the easiest contingency contract to complete. Race 18 is really easy to do and you could even do it with two operators but the max risk for this CC is currently impossible or really hard to achieve considering that the current max highest risk uh, attained is one risk away from max risk and the methods to do so is already uh, insane enough that I don't think max risk is uh, reasonably able to be achieved but uh, yeah the event is cool. That we uh, encounter Edmund Holz's event, Dorothy's Vision, and currently ongoing event, Ideal City, which uh, I do not have much of an opinion on those. The bosses look interesting, some of the air designs are very cool, but there's not much to say about them until I fully understand their mechanics because I have not read any of them, nor have I read the stories. I have nothing else to say about them. Also speaking of uh, events, Gavial Alter. I'm fucking invincible! She looks very interesting and very wacky for uh, AoE guard, but I don't really care about her to be honest. I actually care a lot more of the other operator in the banner, being Pazyanka, who is basically Schwartz if she took a bunch of steroids and decided to look like a Hollow Axe member. Immediately after Ideal City is uh, an event I'm really looking forward to being Trials for Navigators. Basically, an event where you go from one side of the map to the other side of the map, which will be very intriguing to see how it works. I've seen the CC10 teaser, which is um, interesting. I do not know what any of the tags means, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see since it's coming up in a few weeks from now, probably. Alright, now that uh, basically my accounts uh, reached 2 years, uh, what's my next goal? Probably try and get Surter and Fiamana. Mostly Fiamana, because uh, as much as I do really need to Surter, I hate her. I completely despise her existence. Totally not because uh, I spent 30 pulls on her on 2 different banners just to try and get her and get absolutely nothing. Totally not that. I also hate Ash, but uh, that's, that's uh, different different uh, longer tangent. Anyways, other than that, I'm hoping that I, with Fiamata, I can finally get a 24-0 on Annihilation 2. And that's really it. After that, just Annihilation 3, complete that. Try to fix my Annihilation 1 timings on my alt account. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I have too much of a name. There are like other few smaller things, like finally get uh, Angelina max spot which is extremely unlikely even though and there's stuff like uh, getting Mudrock Max Pot which is uh, surprisingly very much possible I just need to grant a lot of red vouchers but already a quarter of the way there anyway so might as well finish the, all the red vouchers other than that I'll just do basic efficiency stuff with uh, Eto Tequila which I'm almost done I just need to wait a few more days for Eto to start recharging and that's really it other than that, just uh, speedrunning stuff and then maybe uh, start optimizing Annihilation 1 uh, from new accounts and hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to do something that I'm planning to do which is uh, Annihilation 2 from new account which is sounds impossible except for the fact that uh, it's possible under a day which is also the same uh, criteria of I can technically be uh, the entire game within the day. Oh, fine. Annihilation 2 from Neo Khan isn't going to be that hard, hopefully. But yeah, there's not really much I wanted to add. I mean, yeah, I have to better, somewhat better editing now. But yeah, I'll probably just continue to make uh, stuff I'm interested in. That's, that's really it. I don't have anything else to add. But so yeah, see ya.